After much clowning, controversy, and speculation, it appears that the truth behind The Last of Us 2 leaks is starting to reveal itself. And man, oh man, does it make fanboys look bad. Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this one. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because y'all know the deal, y'all know the reason, and y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. So y'all know the deal, and if you don't know, then you live under a rock. And maybe that's a good thing, because it hasn't been leaked for you. I am proud to say that it still hasn't been leaked for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've been hiding and ducking places wherever they've been trying to leak this stuff, man. I'm not having it. Um, Last of Us 2 is Sony's exclusive game developed by Naughty Dog, the sequel to the big smash hit, The Last of Us. All right. It's set to release this year after many pushbacks and much controversy. It's finally been given... An, uh, an official release date which is june 19th 2020 right and i believe sony originally wanted to slate this for release with the playstation 5 but a more recent and devastating leak came out that forced their hand and forced them to release it in june because too much of the game apparently has been put out in the public and it stirred a lot of controversy you know what i mean political wise or whatever the case may be um so Again, they, they, they had to come out when they did with this game. That being said, um, the, the facts behind this leak, there was a big push by a certain community to say Naughty Dog treats his people so horribly. They're disgusting. They throw babies in the volcanoes. They hit, they hit blinded women with, with uh, minivans. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of crazy stuff about Naughty Dog in lieu of trying to propel their favorite piece of plastic over the PlayStation. They were sitting there saying that Naughty Dog's horrible practices led a disgruntled employee to release this stuff. And it doesn't appear to be that way. Now, why do I say that? Well, let's go to the story that, that kind of helps us understand what likely has happened. This is coming to you courtesy of Eurogamer. Um, and the title is, is labeled the hackers may have been behind those devastating the last of us Two, the last of us part two leaks hackers found a security vulnerability and use it to get access to naughty dog servers. This is coming to us by Vicky Blake, a uh, contributor and a new report, um, intimates that the last of us part two was allegedly leaked by hackers who never infiltrated naughty dogs, private servers and a brief summary on Twitter. Bloomberg's Jason Schreier reported that after talking to people with direct knowledge of the incident, a security vulnerability opened a back door to Naughty Dog's servers and intimated that the spoilerific footage likely originates from an early build. And of course, for those of us in the know, we're familiar with Jason Schreier's tweet that kind of leaked that, that kind of revealed his information and backslapped all the fanboys okay after talking to two people with direct knowledge how the last of us two leaked as well as some naughty dog employees i have a good idea what happened short version hackers found a security vulnerability in a patch of an older naughty dog game and use it to access to nd's servers um so here's the deal about this this whole thing as i alluded to earlier the whoop to do was Naughty Dog treats everybody so horribly. Again, smacking the babies in volcanoes, hitting the women with minivans, all that stuff. And that's why this was leaked. And then therefore, th therefore there was a correlation made between, well then, if you mess with my money, I can understand why this happened. And I've said whether this was true or not, you gotta separate the apples and oranges, okay? If Naughty Dog is treating their people bad, which people like Jason have reported on, and actually he's the one that exposed it, the likelihood of that. If Naughty Dog is treating their people bad and they're going into this to, to crunch in some god awful means, then that's a separate story. 
And I talked about it myself because I'm someone who not through game development crunch, but I've, I've experienced development crunch through my tenure. It's not a it's not a beautiful thing, and I've talked about it at nauseum in a lot of ways. I think it's important to, to talk about, but it's not appropriate for this video. You know what I mean? But I have talked about it, and I've talked, and I've been on the same realm of Jason Schreier and in, in this regards because I have personal experience with it. Okay. So with that being said, I am able to separate that from the fact that somebody was willing to go out there and expose all this information and ruin an experience for gamers the element of surprise which is a big thing in, in, in narrative driven games and what would make it even worse is if it was a developer a developer that had a personal squabble a developer who had a personal squabble who could have went to someone like Jason Schreier for Naughty Dog to be exposed if that was true you know what I'm saying opposed to ruining all the efforts of their fellow developers and fellow gamers so that would have made it even worse but no people out here waving their flag for their favorite console latched onto that and tried to make an excuse for that and to all that I say this this has become a very very peculiar time in gaming I mean I get it I in my honest opinion, in, 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 the, in the wake up to the PlayStation 4 in the, in the Xbox One release, there were a lot of things said and a lot of things done that were over purported. Oh, 1080p 60 makes you a better gamer. You know, an Xbox One is only 720. All this horrible stuff like the games look so bad at long. I think a lot of that was over reported and overblown. You know what I'm saying? And that was bad, right? And hopefully when bad things happen, you grow from them. But what I'm seeing is instead of one community doing it, now this time another community is, is, is pulling, is going into the muck and pulling out gross, repulsive, honestly, type of uh, um, innuendo and themes and sake of their favorite piece of plastic. You know, first it was Sony is lying about coronavirus. Sony is lying about not wanting to do whatever because of that. It's it's fake. And you know, the infamous comments, well, nobody's, I don't see dead, dead streets in Boston. Remember that? So why, there, there's only 50 cases in Boston, so why can't Sony go? And then that blew up in people's faces. And now uh, a hop, skip, and, and, and a jump from that, now people are latching onto this. I say all that to say this. As a gamer, I just this is the type of stuff I don't like. Talking stuff and 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 and, and talking crap about elements of your game system over somebody else's, that's one thing. I participate in that. You know, sometimes it can be fine and you know there can be tension or whatever, but it doesn't go past a certain level. But when you start overlooking pure clear-cut benefits for gamers and benefit of your piece of plastic when you willing to spew, spew rhetoric falsehoods and latch onto it just to, to damper someone else's uh, uh hopes and dreams of another piece of plastic over yours that's when it goes beyond gaming and it did like i said earlier it gets repulsive so i just want to say this to the fanboys and it don't it don't it don't matter if you're the fanboy group that tried to overblow and over purport what happened here or you're on the other side or wherever the case may be draw a line that i get this is the console war and, I, and i'm not one i'm not one of those people i'm not gonna go out here on my you know high horse the console war stupid it is what it is there's all types of entertainment for all types of folks but never nothing should ever gloss over the the, the base benefit of being a gamer. If something wrong is happening that affects all gamers, then that's when we need to put down our flag and say, okay, I'm not cool with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not down with that. You know what I'm saying? Because that same thing can be used against you and your favorite piece of plastic. So, so basically what I'm saying is we gotta remember that we're gamers at the end of the day. There has to be guardrails to this. Like there has to be a line that's not crossed. And I just don't want to see a repeat 
of what's happening into what would happen into this generation happen next generation I, I i thought we would have learned from that and then our rhetoric would have been a lot more refined and, and better going this time around but it's getting worse so you know we'll see how things land but again for those fanboys that wanted to run with this narrative now you look silly silly season it is i guess uh, in the release before console but that's it before, uh, for your boy mm2k and hey, let me know what you think about what i had to say in the comment section below because like i always say who cares what i think but if you did like what i had to say check out the links below to follow me those links will lead you to the broadband bullies pnts network hard knock digital culture and yes the stadium dosage and with all that said if, again if you did like the material please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and share this out and you all have a wonderful wonderful gaming day peace